it was a fellow player that had done this to me. About a week prior to the actual incident, these same guys were doing it to a bunch of other guys. They were urinating on people in the showers, you know, trying to make it seem like harmless fun. This particular uh, day after practice, I finally got in the shower. And these guys were waiting for somebody to mess with. I, I fit the bill. I was alone. There was nobody around to help me. So this, uh, this fellow player had two of his buddies uh, hold me down. They actually uh, not only just grabbed me by, by my arms, but they kicked out my legs from under me to hold me down on the floor face first, while the main person, he had taken a pencil and forcibly sodomized me. And I just remember looking back, and he's holding this thing in front of my face, bent over laughing, just laughing at me. And he, his other two friends are laughing at me. They're like, oh man, we got you good. And I just, I couldn't stand it. I just got up as fast as I could. The logical part of my brain said, yes, you're not at fault. You couldn't have helped this. But the emotional side, the part of your, your heart, basically, you feel violated. You feel like you can't trust anybody. After about a week, everybody knew. I would hear the comments. You know, a few people were like, giggling behind their backs, they think it's funny. A lot of people were just like, that really happened? But it was just, I tried to ignore it. But the principal called me in and he asked about it. And they pretty much told me that they were going up with it and that I should see the police, that they already reported it. People I thought were my friends suddenly hated me. I mean, I felt threatened inside the school forever. It was just one of those things where I went from a comfortable environment to just where I didn't want to be there. It was, you know, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to ruin this guy's football career? He's got a scholarship riding on this. He's our friend, dude. How could you? It's like, I thought you were cool, man. We were just funning around. And there's the uh, attacker with his lawyer, and his lawyer is making the same arguments that some people have made to victims in the past. Well, couldn't you have avoided this? Wasn't there something you could have done to get away from this? Are you sure he really meant that? He was just joking around. He didn't mean it. So it got to the point where I finally just dropped the charges. I gave up. Because between, aside from my family and a few friends, I had no support. After I got into the Air Force and saw that what the SART does for people, that's when I felt that I really needed to share my story with people because the SARC program is a wonderful program, especially the fact that they offer you different types of reporting. I mean, restricted is a wonderful thing because sometimes you just want to let out your story and just get some help. Or there's the uh, unrestricted program if you, just, if you just want to seek justice. And it's great that we have victim advocates in the SARC that's going to be with you every step of the way.